Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Adam with AK Lighting here to help you install and or improve your own landscape lighting. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up your outdoor lighting junction box. Now, most people don't call it a junction box. They call it a transformer. So I'm gonna show you how to install your transformer. And I'm also gonna go over the components of a transformer so that when you look at a professional landscape lighting transformer, you won't be surprised or confused what it all entails. So I'm gonna go over what each of them is and what to do with it. So that being said, I'm gonna jump right into the intro. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna go over how to install this transformer. Now, professional transformers are most often identical or similar to what this looks like, where it has where the timer is, this piece comes down, you've got where the wire goes, you've got the switch, and so I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about this transformer, how to wire it up, and then what you would have to do to mount it up. So the tools that you'll need to use for this project, obviously the transformer, You'll need to get a timer unless it comes with it. Most of them don't come with a timer. Um, a flathead screwdriver, wire strippers, something to mount it on the wall, and a drill, and then a drill bit to drill into the brick. So let's say right here you want to drill it. You need to make sure you have uh, a good drill and a drill bit to be able to mount the transformer on the wall. And then obviously the wire that you have for your landscape lighting. So first off, I wanna go over the components of the transformer so you have a better understanding and then I'll show you how to wire it up. So you have this. This is how the transformer comes. So it is plugged in like that. And if you have this plugged in and then this end plugged into an outlet, your transformer will stay on always. So to change it up, you've got two options. You can either plug it in with a timer or a smart plug or something like that. So you plug that in here, and then you would plug this piece right here in there. So let's see, like that, and then that goes there. Or right here, this is where, um, here you can see it here. You pop this out, and you can put a photocell, and a photocell makes it so that the transformer is always on when it's dark. So you'll have to pop this piece out right here, and then you will plug in the, the photocell, and it plugs in right here. Don't throw this away, because if you ever don't want a photocell, you have to have something plugged into this always. So if this was out, and like you lost this for some reason and you didn't have a photo cell, the transformer would not work. So you need to have this plugged in. This right here is the fail switch. So if something happens like an electrical surge comes through the transformer, it will trigger this to go off instead of destroying the transformer. So that is on off and now it's on on. Um, over here on the left, it shows you what size transformer it is. So you can see here it's a 150 watt transformer. And um, these are ones that I like to use 150 for LEDs. Typically a front or backyard just needs 150 watts. Occasionally I'll have to use a 300 watt, but 150 uh, should be able to do what you need. And then here, this is where the wires um, go in. So right here this is where you use the flathead screwdriver so if you can see right there the flathead screwdriver is able to twist this and open and close this so in this part of the video i'm going to show you how to wire it up so let's say you've got this as your wire before i had mentioned that it's best to keep the the words on the common and then the rough on the 12 to 15 tap so I just want to clarify, I only do that to keep things organized. You don't, it doesn't matter which one you use. Just make sure you remember that one side has to go into the commons and then the other side of the wire has to go in one of those other volts. Okay, the way I like to do this is I like to twist the wire so it's 
it's a little bit more um, organized and sometimes I'll fold it over then we'll say this is going to go inside the the commons and then you get the screwdriver and you tighten it up and make sure it is really tight because you don't want to have the wires come loose okay let's check yep and then you'll get this other side so we're also going to twist this and then i'm going to fold it so it's not too long put that into the 12 I purposely did it this way so that the rough is in the commons and the words are in the 12 volts because I want to show you that either way works. Uh, I did a video back a little while ago that I preached that you need to not mess this up, but I want to correct that. It's okay if you mess it up. It's just for organizing and making sure I am aware of where the wires are at. So there you go. That is wiring up one wire. And if you are ever to wire multiple wires, it's okay to put them in the same common. So you could have about three, two to three wires in here. The thing is, if it can fit, that's great, use it. Also, the amount of lights that are on the wire also matters. So make sure you don't have too many lights on, um, or watts onto one common. This transformer has two, so most of the time, I like to split it up so I'll have half on one and half on the other. As for the 12, 13, 14, and 15 volts, definitely make sure you use the 12 and 13 unless there's a really far distance to one of the lights where you'd have to change it to a 14 or 15 volt. I would keep it at the 12 or 13 and that way you don't destroy the the bulbs because if you put too much electricity going from the transformer to the bulbs like let's say the uh, a fixture was right here and you had it on the 15 volt that f that bulb is going to burn out way quicker than if it was on the 12 volts okay and the last thing that i'm going to show you how to do is how to mount it i'm not going to show you right here i'll have another video playing of us mounting the transformer essentially what you're going to need to do is close this and this top piece right here you're gonna have a screw mounted on the wall along with the bottom piece here. The transformer's gonna be mounted on the wall and you're gonna have to drill a hole at the top and bottom, put the anchor and screws in, and I like to put a PVC pipe underneath to hide the wires that are coming out so that it doesn't look messy and also that the, they don't get cut if a weed whacker came by. Well, hopefully that video was very helpful for you and you feel more comfortable hooking up your outdoor lighting transformer and it looks a little bit more familiar to you. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you're somebody who needs additional help with your landscape lighting project, feel free to check out the course below. I wanted to provide an affordable option to help people like you who might need that additional help with your landscape lighting project. So the link is in the description below. Feel free to check out any of these videos or other videos that I have uploaded on my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video. Bye.